Hello everybody, we're going to take a look at the import wizard and how we can use the import wizard to bring in pretty much any external data. The import wizard can be used to bring in your own spreadsheet information that you may have created in your own logbook, uh, an access program where you run a query to export the data uh, to a comma or preferably a tab delimited data file, uh, or a competing logbook product that you're not uh, satisfied with and you want to get your data out of their logbook program and over into logbook pro you can use the import wizard for that as well so in this demonstration I've created a uh, homebrew logbook as you can see the first row is our column titles and in this case we're just going to have a flight date an aircraft and number a routing column uh, you can have separate from and two columns as well uh, duration and then some uh, specifics and then a remarks column at the end so this is just to show a very simple scenario of a spreadsheet of data that you want to get over into Logbook Pro. Uh, in order to use Logbook Pro's import wizard, we do recommend that your first row contains your column headers. All rows below contain data. So if you have any multi-row uh, titles or summaries or formulas that have uh, summaries or averages you want to go ahead and purge that information so again you have just one row of column titles column headers all rows below are data columns your date format should be in the format of month day year so if you're using uh, uh, an international uh, setup you might want to set it up to United States settings first get your data imported and then you can uh, switch it back to whatever you want to use. So let's go ahead and save this data. We're using Microsoft Excel 2007. We're going to do a save as and the preferred format is tab delimited. Now you can also do comma separated values but if you use commas in your remarks or any other text columns you could throw things off. So let's go ahead and just use tab delimited. That is the preferred method and let's put this in our temp file uh, demos import demo and we'll just call this source data and this is tab delimited all right so let's get uh, excel out of the way and now let's fire up the import wizard in logbook pro and show you how easy this is now first off this is a blank logbook the only thing i've got configured is a username of demo user there are no aircraft, there's no other information, there are no flight log entries. This is a clean file, so we can show you exactly how the system works. So we're going to click File Import Wizard. We're going to select the file, and that is in our temp demos and our source data. We choose whether it's tab delimited or comma delimited. In this case, it's tab delimited. The Import Wizard gives you an option of choosing what is the source format of your time. Some People use minutes. Some people or some logbook programs will record in minutes in the data file, so you need to specify minutes. Logbook Pro will convert it to hours and tenths, which is what it uses. Uh, if you use hours colon minutes, such as 1 colon 15 for an hour and 15 minutes of flying, then you want to select that for your source format. Now, for those that are familiar with autofill or want to take advantage of autofill, go into options autofill after you've configured your aircraft types that match the incoming data and autofill will actually be fired on each row that is imported so if you only have a duration value but you also want to have pilot and command automatically entered you can use autofill to do that I don't want to get too advanced in this uh, brief demo but autofill for those that know what that is or research in the documentation or contact us at support at nc softwarecom and we'll help you on the right hand side, if you have an existing logbook you're already using, you can have this data added to your existing logbook, so append, or if you want to have your imported data erase all existing flight log data, you would use the replace option. And then as far as backing up with any import operation that you're doing for into an existing logbook, it's highly recommended that you use this backup prior to import option in the event you need to roll back to that backup, restore to that backup uh, in the event the import does not work the way you intended. Since this is a brand new empty data file we are not going to do the backup option so let's go ahead and click next. We've selected our data file, tab delimited, click next. 
and you can see that Logbook Pro has read that Microsoft Excel data that we saved to a tab delimited text data file. It automatically <coughs> sets the first row as column headers. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you can see the flight date, aircraft, and number, etc. <coughs> and then we automatically check this checkbox. It's uh, checked by default that the first row contains column headers. Let's click next. And this is where we actually map the source columns into the logbook pro columns. Now, if you have columns of information, such as military or carrier landings or whatever it may be, TAA for the technically advanced, you know, the glass cockpits, any of that information that may be in your source data that there is not an existing column in Logbook Pro to accept that data, what you want to do is prior to using the import wizard, go to the options custom, create custom columns that will host your data, hold your data, then come back to the import wizard and then those columns will be available for you to map. All right, so again, that's just a little more advanced feature, but I just want to tell you that uh, if you have columns that do not exist in Logbook Pro, use the options custom first, then use the import wizard. And this is covered in the documentation for the import wizard as well. So let's just map the columns. Flight date, it's going to go into the date column. Aircraft, we'll go to the aircraft make and model column. End number, We'll go into the aircraft ident column. Now as far as routing, Logbook Pro will accept separate from and to columns or a from to combined column. Well, we use a combined column, which is how Logbook Pro stores its data. Then let's map our duration and then our pilot and command, our cross country, which we've abbreviated as XC. Solo, dual, even though we don't have any time, I'll just demonstrate how to map it. And then our remarks. Now what I like to do, you can see that the checkbox is not checked. I like to go back one column, either shift tab or click off of the last column you map. So it just does register as mapped. Now before we actually complete the import, if those of you that are importing data that you'll repetitively import the same layout, you can actually save this template. Save it to a map file to end with .map, .map. And then the next time when you import the same layout, you can load the template prior to doing any of these mappings. And these mappings will be restored for you It'll automatically line everything right back up. So if you're doing repetitive imports, uh, maybe you're getting source data from your employer every month or uh, whatever the source is, but it's something that you get on a frequent basis, then you want to use the save template after you've done your initial mapping. And you'll save a lot of time just by doing a load template, then import. So let's go ahead and click import. And you can see that since I didn't have any aircraft configured, and the import wizard added aircraft based on the import. It's telling us we should go to the options aircraft area and configure our aircraft types. You can see here's the mapping information. We have a couple options. We can actually print this information or save the above results to a file. But let's just go ahead and click finished. Now Lobbit Pro did configure our aircraft for us. The import wizard rather did import three different aircraft types that were in the import source. So now we're just going to configure these basically. I'm not going to go through all of the configuration. But we'll just do this. The very basics. The more complete that you configure your options aircraft, the more information the reports Logbook Pro generates is going to provide you. Now let's take a look at our data and you can see let's go back to Microsoft Excel on the first 16th and then 2 2 we have, we have three rows of data 1 1 1 16 and 2 2 there's our three rows of data there's the route the duration and there's our pilot command and then our remarks 
So you can see the import wizard is very easy to use to bring in source data, which is either tab delimited in a text file or comma separated value, CSV. And uh, it's just endless where you can get your data from and easily migrate into Logbook Pro. So if you have any questions, you can go to help.logbookpro.com and review the documentation or contact us. Go to our help desk, which is at helpdesk.nc-software.com or just email us directly, support at nc-software.com and we'll gladly help you or even do the import for you. So if you're coming from a competing logbook product, typically we can just take your data file from you and handle the import for you. We do it as a one-time courtesy service for all of our new customers. Uh, or you can use the import wizard on your own and you're welcome to play with this in the evaluation of Logbook Pro. It's not locked out in the demo. So go to logbookpro.com, go to the downloads area and download Logbook Pro and experiment with the import wizard as you wish. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this.